What's happening YouTube? Today we are taking a look at the AA Shield Soft Body Armor Insert. This is a soft armor designed to protect you against most handgun calibers. It is NIJ rated as a level 3A, which means it can stop rounds all the way up to 44 Magnum. In this review, we run it through the gauntlet and throw a number of different rounds at it, and then push it to its breaking point. The more time we spent with the soft armor insert, the more we realized how armor like this can easily be integrated into your everyday carry. Now we understand that walking around with body armor might sound crazy, but stick with me for a second here. We're not advocating strapping on a bulletproof vest and walking around town like a crazy person, but with a lightweight soft armor insert like this, you can easily insert it to a backpack or a laptop bag and then forget about it. And God forbid one day you find yourself in a situation where you need to act as a responsibly armed citizen, then you could take your bag, flip it around, wear it on your chest, or even use it as a pseudo shield like we are showing here. Now is this ideal? No, of course not. But since when is a gunfight ideal? But it's better than nothing and can possibly provide you or a loved one some extra protection. Now let's see if it can actually stop a bullet. All right, guys, just uh, a little movie cinematics. Just had to take the barrel out just for safety and a little bit of fake blood. Now let's get to the real review, see how this body armor really does. This test was performed in a safe environment on a closed range. Please do not try this at home. Now let's see if it can actually stop a bullet. All right, so this is our, this is the AA Shield, this is the strike face, this is the strike surface, so this is the front of it. As you can see right here, we ended up shooting six rounds through it. We didn't do the 45 because, well, it wasn't a Glock, so it didn't work. Anyways, 380, 38 Special, 9 mil, 40, 357 Sig, 357 Magnum. I can feel in here the bullets are still intact, are in there. You can feel them right in there this was a soft deal and you can see it did damage the outside but i can feel nothing didn't look like anything penetrated i mean even this one this was the this is the 357 magnum now the sticker might have helped with some durability that's probably what we're seeing but there's no tear on the back now this was supposed to just stop bullets doesn't mean you're not going to get hurt doesn't mean you're not going to bruise break it's just it's it's to catch if, if I take a sheet of paper that can stop a bullet, is it still going to damage the glass that's in front of? Yes, it might catch the bullet, but it's still going to damage the glass. Same thing here. We would have put this up. We used the, a rubber silhouette as opposed to a steel one or a target just because we want to give it something solid. You can see the man silhouette, kind of get an idea of the size of this thing. But also because if I was to tack it onto a piece of steel, that steel is going to act as an extra buffer on the back side of this and wouldn't give us a good response that we wanted. So... I think right here, being that I can feel all the bullets in here, it's, you can literally see that's not flexing at certain points. But it's been, it's definitely caught every single one. So this one right here just withstood six shots of multi calibers. Well, now we're going to do the Tootsie Roll test. Hey guys, we're out here at CTG's range over here in Weatherford, Texas. We're here with Brian Harpool. He's part of, he's one of CTG's owners. He's one of the resident expert shooters out here, and he's going to help us do what I like to call the Tootsie Pop test. We're going to see how many rounds it takes to get to the center. So, let's get shooting. All right. High volume of fire. All right, we're about to take take two. The first take, it, the tape didn't hold up. That's not the body armor's part, uh, fault. That's uh, the taper's fault. So... Go ahead and see if we can uh, truly do a good Tootsie Roll pop test. Right. 
We are 52 rounds in and the best we can tell, nothing has gotten through yet. We have seen no bullet impacts in the dirt behind the dummy and we have clean tape on the backside. Now we know this isn't scientific, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. Now let's burn it down. So it took roughly this many rounds. And as you can see, this thing held up pretty good. I guess if you got hit that many times, you'd be really hitting life. But more importantly, if you got hit that many times, even if you didn't get hit that many times, there's a lot of trauma happening to the body anyways. So it's nice to know that you're not gonna get, it's not gonna penetrate the armor, but at the same time, just know that this doesn't stop damage from happening. It just stops the lethality of the penetration. Anyway, is this pretty chewed up? Ooh. Yeah, this is hot. There's a lot of bullets in the bottom somewhere. I just can't find it. But this stuff's pretty chewed up. No big deal. The thing that I like to look at is any body armor is going to fail at a certain point. I mean, it's supposed to just stop. You know, keep, hopefully, keep you from the straight. If you're going to hit that many times with that many bullets, you're hitting life. That was more just a fun test. I like to, the thing I liked was. Some of the first shots we did were on the edges to realize that it's not all about just center hits. It's it's stopping everywhere. So that was also good to see. But a lot of lead. All captured. Yeah, nice little pile of lead forming up here. Shot a lot of rounds. So but there's more braided in the fabric. I'm not gonna get it all out, but you know. It's body armor, it's pretty lightweight, so far so good, and it's, in my opinion, it's good. If you like our, if you like our video, go ahead and like it, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we're here with the Saiyans USA. God bless, guys.